Life is unfair. Deal with it. Good morning, everybody. Good to see all of you. Good to see your smiling faces. We are going to talk about a very life-changing truth that I just learned up here, but not yet, like really. And I want to share with you because it can be very impactful. It can be very helpful. So stay tuned for a life-changing truth. You know, I don't like to read. And so I had to find strategies to still get in those good information found in books. So this is my first tip today before we actually come to the point, to the whole point of the video. I'm listening to audiobooks. So every time I'm in the car, I'm going to the gym, I'm going out for a run, or I have like spare time waiting somewhere, I'm listening to audiobooks. So my recommendation for you guys, if you have a lot of like time that is a little bit like wasted going going to work, um, sitting in the bus, sitting in the car, waiting in, in lines for something, find a way to get those audiobooks, to really get like good books that challenge you, that develop you, that are full of like good truths, that, that have an impact on you. My recommendation is to get an Audible subscription. I'm not paid by any means by uh, Amazon to say that. I wish I were. This has been very helpful for me. I pay 10 bucks and I get one audiobook per month and I'm listening to, to audiobooks like all the time. So I'm learning a lot. I'm getting a lot of information in, and this is so beneficial to me. So my first tip, get an Audible subscription or go to any other like audiobook publisher or something and like listen to audiobooks or, or read good books. So one good book that I'm just listening to right now is From Good to Great by Jim Collins. And basically he and a, and a big research team, they researched companies and why some companies are like really great and some aren't. And why some companies are really great and some became great for a while but then kind of went down again. And one of the reasons companies are great is because they have great leaders, they have a great leadership. And then he like goes on and on and on describing like this type of person that needs to lead and the decisions they need to make in order to make a company great. So this is very, very beneficial for me. <clears throat> and one of those really impactful stories is the story of Admiral Jim Stockdale. I hope his name is Jim. Wait for a moment. Admiral Stockdale. Admiral Stockdale. Yeah, James. One of those impactful stories is about James Stockdale. Admiral James Stockdale. And he describes in the book the principle that he learned from that, the Stockdale Paradox. James Stockdale was an American commander in the military during the Vietnam War. And he was shot down by the Vietnamese and put into prison. He was in prison for eight years without any prisoner's rights, without a, a judge or without a jury, without anybody like without a perspective to get out. He was tortured about 20 times over this eight year period. Like he went through horrible stuff. They tried to make positive propaganda with prisoners to show that they are so well treated. So at one point he even cut himself with a razor blade and, and hit himself with a stool and stuff to be disfigured so that he couldn't be put on, on camera. So he went through horrible times and he developed a system as a commander even in prison for um, for his soldiers to survive this and to get home safely. Jim Collins, the author of the book From Good to Great, visited him to because later he became a businessman and his business like went great and stuff and like when he came back and he tried to figure out like who is this Admiral Jim Stockdale and, and what made him so special as a leader. And at one point he asked Stockdale and said something like, Admiral, were there people who didn't make it out, who weren't as strong as you? And Stockdale answered, yes. What kind of people were they that weren't so strong as you, who didn't came out? And Admiral Stockdale said, the optimists. The optimists didn't come out alive. 
And I was wondering, like Jim Collins was wondering, but I was wondering too, like I love optimism. I love to talk about optimistic things and I, I love, I'd love to be more optimistic. So I was like, why is being an optimist negative in terms of coming out of, of prison? And Admiral Stockton explained, the optimists were those who said like, we'll be out of prison by Christmas. And then Christmas came, Christmas went by and they were still in prison. So they, they, they said, we'll be out by Easter. And Easter came and Easter went by. Oh, by, by Thanksgiving. And then the next Christmas came, the next Easter came and they were still in prison. They were heartbroken after a while and died basically because they were heartbroken. The lesson from this is very deep. You have to confront reality. Life is unfair. And this can be good and bad. Like some people, they, they, they have a very good life. Like I think I have a good life. And this is unfair because I'm not that good of a person that I deserve all this. I just was lucky. It's just a blessing that I grew up in Germany in a, like a good middle class family and stuff. I didn't deserve this. I didn't do anything for that. But I'm grateful for that. But there are also people like, um, I, I lived in the Philippines for about three years. There are people living in slums, growing up in slums. They are poor, they are, they are getting sick, people are dying. That's unfair, that, that's not fair. They have to learn, we all have to learn to confront that, to confront reality. Life is unfair, deal with it. And that's not me saying this, that was Admiral Stockdale who was imprisoned, tortured for eight years in Vietnam. Admiral Stockdale said, I never lost faith in the end of the story. He never lost faith in the result, but he wasn't shallowly optimistic, like we'll be out soon, we'll have a good life soon. He confronted the facts of torture, of imprisonment, but he prevailed. He had faith in the end of the story, that he would come out of prison and not just come out of prison, but that he would turn the situation into a positive life experience. This is so powerful in your life, in your life circumstance, wherever you are, you need faith. You need to have faith in yourself, faith in God, faith in, in the end result that you can achieve what you want to achieve. But don't be shallowly optimistic. Don't just think like next week is going to be better. Confront your life right now. Confront the facts, confront the pain. Just, just allow yourself to feel it because it is reality and figure out a way to develop out of it, to come through it, to survive it, to progress, to develop. I hope this topic is by any means oh, kind of helpful to you. For me, for sure it is. I hope you can like feel the, the meaning behind this a little bit. Um, if, if not, just ask some questions in the, in the comments below and let's, let's talk about this because I think this is a very powerful message. But I think, and, and Jim Collins thinks too, it's not just for important. It's not just important for business. It's important for for life. What attitude do we have towards our adversities in our lives, guys? That's actually it for today. I hope you liked this video, or you could learn something. Just write down in the comments below if this helped a little bit, or if I should continue to make videos like this as well every now and again. I hope you have a great day. Enjoy your life wherever you are. I know there are many things around you that are still enjoyable. So be thankful, be grateful. Enjoy your life wherever you are. And we'll see each other in the next video. Bye.